the channel. Are we live? Possibly. Hey, what's up, guys? It's not. Oh, you guys are gonna need a chair. So, make sure you have a chair. Grab a chair. Make sure to announce that before so we can remember. Good. Grab a chair, people. Grab a chair. And leave your name in a comment. So, grab a chair, leave your name in a comment. Oh, and grab water. I'm gonna go grab my water. I need water. Hey there, Modi and Lola. It's great to have you in class today. Thank you for commenting Ooh. quickly so I know who we are working with. Um, yeah. How is everyone doing today? Uh, this week's been pretty great so far. It's going to be sunny and warm this weekend. You can spend your time outside. What are your plans for this weekend, mm -hmm. Um, not going outside. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I plan on doing a bit of like a, a jog workout on Saturday morning. So that'll be exciting. And I'm excited. It's going to be nice out to do that. Yeah, that's um, good. I don't have a crazy weekend plans yet for that though. Yeah. Might see if I can snag a grill and grill out. There you go. That'd be nice. Binge watch. Uh, of course. That, that went without saying. <laughs> what are you crazy? You crazy? Of course I'm watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Comes out on Netflix. Right. Fun for the whole family. Woo. I'm excited. I think it's funny, like, as I'm scrolling through Facebook, I keep seeing, like, the video, like, different video segments from <laughs> the last event. Bro, oh, really? I haven't seen much. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Fun stuff. What are you guys doing this weekend? It's going to be nice out. What are you guys doing? What are your plans? What are your plans? Can we crash them? Well, I, you, you can crash them. Yeah, I'll be busy. i got to watch the show. Um, I'm, 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 I'm waiting. <laughs> Yeah, make sure if you guys are watching that you comment your name so we know who we're with. Yeah, and we're going to start here in about 45 seconds, 40 seconds. Oh, we're coming up on 40 seconds now. But yeah, how have y'all been? Been missing you guys? Can't wait to see you guys back here whenever we're on open. Heard uh, hair salons are coming open now, and I'm super excited because I need a haircut so bad. <laughs> yeah, me too. Right there with you. Uh, hey there, Chancey boy. Chance? Yeah, we're going to start here in... 20 seconds. One, oh, I guess it's 15 seconds now. Man, time flies. Yeah, I feel like it's not. It's 10 seconds. Like, I felt like five seconds ago was 15 seconds. I feel like it's going faster seconds. than an yeah. actual second. It just feels that way. feels that way. But not really. All right, guys, from here, go ahead and face us. We're going to get started. Geneva. And Academy Chance again. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect, sir, and Kineba. Uh, we're going to go to Juby and start off with 15 jumping jacks. Go! One, two, 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 Hello, three, Mr. Sir, Adams. Four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, sir, nine, sir, ten, sir. Awesome job. Well, my hello, Mr. Adams. So <laughs> glad for you to join the chat. Three of his white shorts, neck rotations one way, the other way. And arm shows forward and backwards. And, all right. Crisscross the body uh, and up and down. What's up, Mr. Rockwell? Feet twice around shoulder stretching over the body side side. Twist side to side. Legs straight reach down low side to side. Hands on the floor hips side to side. Hey there, Mr. Nathaniel Crosley. Some would refer to you as Nate Dog, but I won't. Nate Dog. And the lax. All right. From here, we're on your chair. So grab your chair. Because you're going to need it for the warm up. At least a third of the warm up you're going to need. All right. So from here, warm up drill, we're going to start off uh, with our pyramid. Uh, and we're working strictly on our arms today. So we're going to do a level five arm pyramid. Now, at any point in time, if we uh, do this, if you need to 
you know, go down your knees for like push ups, go down your knees and you use, use a wall, you can use a wall, that's okay. All right, do what you need to do. But we're gonna go push ups, shoulder tags, and dips. All right, so if you haven't done a dip before, that's when we need a chair. You're gonna put your hands on the chair, feet out, bending your elbows, straighten your elbows. All right, so it's like a reverse push up, pretty much. All right, so again, we're going dip. All right, so push up, shoulder tag, dip. Right. Sorry, number one, going all the way up to level five, and then back down again. Remember, level one, you gotta do one of each, two of each, and three of each, four of each, five of each. And that's level five. Then four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. Get ready. Get set, and go for it. Level one, so push up, one shoulder tag, one dip. Hey, now, level two, two push ups. Two shoulder tags, <coughs> two dips. Level three, we're almost to the top. Three push ups, oh, three shoulder tags, one, three, three, and then three dips. Now on level four, four push ups, four shoulder tags. And four dips. One, two, three, four. Level five, we got this. We're at the top now. We got this. Come on now. Screaming. Good. Level three. Three push ups. in here and a little bit, but we're going to have to see you on feet, seat angle stretch. So as we're down here, bring one arm across your body and switch it up. Uh, all right, see your toes stretch, bring your toes back, come in, seat in, uh, fall to your feet. Whew. All right, and then turn your toes down. Cobra stretch, hips down, shoulders up. Then cat back, push the middle back up in here. And then have a seat. Cross shingles five, bent leg back rollers. Go for it. We know that. Five with your legs straight. Two, three, four. Five. Two. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Then we do that leg straight feet reaching forward. Uh, reach down low. Good. Then leave one leg straight, pull one leg around behind you, and reach down on your straight leg. Now, as, uh, one thing to think about as you guys do this, 
just every time you exhale, you want to try and lower yourself or get yourself a little lower. All right, so you're going to reach down low as you're breathing in, big breath in, and as you exhale, try and get, pull yourself a little bit lower every time. Good, and switch. All the legs straight, all the bent, reaching forward. And then feel exactly wide into a V. I know we skipped a couple stretches. That's okay. Reach down to the side of side and down the middle. On your own. Then go ahead and pull the palms to your feet together. Butterfly stretch. Move your knees up and down. Or push them straight to the ground. Alright. So from what I'm here, when we hop up, we're gonna hop up, get 10 more jumping jacks, and then get a, grab a quick drink of water and come on back. Ready? Set and hop up. Good. 10 jumping jacks. Go. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir. Nine, sir, ten, sir. Good. Go ahead, grab some quick drink of water. Come around right back. We got some fun stuff we're going to work on. <sighs> All right. So, from here, guys, we're going to work on uh, some more breaking techniques, but we're using our arms, uh, which is why we start off with that uh, arm pyramid, get our arms stronger. So, when we break boards and do stuff with it, our arms can be as strong as possible. So from here, level one, starting off nice, easy, we're going to focus on what our legs do. All right, so what our legs are going to do, my front leg, or my feet are going to start in a back stance. All right, so they're here, starting really close together. All right, my front foot picks up, takes a big step forward, and I land almost all of my weight on my front leg. All right, so think, uh, I know it's not on right now, but think baseball, pitchers, they pick that knee up, to throw that ball forward, right? That's what we're doing. We're going to pick our leg up and we're going to lean forward, fall forward on that front leg. All right. So on your own, we're going to go about 10 seconds of just working that foot, uh, leg motion. Ready? And go for it. Front foot, three step forward. There we go. Keep going. Good. About five seconds left. Four, three, two, one and switch other leg now. So again, this leg, again, same thing. Yeah, over, land. So imagine I'm taking a big step over something, okay? Ready? On your own. And go for it. Good. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and time. From here, working on a palm strike. So we're breaking palm strike. I'm going to have my hands here on my belt. As I take that big step forward, I'm going to then push my hand out very last second and twist, and I'll bring it right back. All right, so yeah, I'm going here, knee up, over, boom. All right, if you can work on the timing of when the foot lands or foot touches the ground, my palm strike is going to be hitting my target. All right, something else you can do with this hand, I like to point it out and pull it back. All right, you can definitely do that, it works out really well, or you can point it and do it in guard. All right, those are your two options. So either out or in guard with the other hand palm track. You ready? And go for it. 10 seconds. If you want, you can make noises like I do. Bam. I don't know, I'm going to Or comic book style for some reason. All right, five more seconds left. Three, two, one, and time. Switch sides, other side. All right, again, you guys don't have to go fast. This is for speed. This is to make sure I'm uh, doing the technique properly. Already, and other side, go for it. Good. Keep it up. We're going about ten seconds. We're about the five second mark. Four, three, two, 
one and time. So we're side, change it up now. So palm strike, working hammer fist strike, all right? Hammer fist strike, so and starts back here on my belt. As you can see, I'm kind of hiding, hiding that hand all the way back here. All right, it goes back behind me, up, and straight down. So think like I'm chopping wood with an ax. That's the motion my hand does, all right? So again, same setup, feet close together, one arm aims, other hand's on my belt, all right? Front of my legs up, arm goes behind me, up, and down. I'll do it from the side so you guys can see timing of it. So I'm here, here, here. All right, so that's what I want you guys to practice. 10 seconds and then we'll switch sides. Ready, set, and go. Good, five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Other side, and go for it. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and time. Switching sides. Elbow strike. All right. My back arm this time, so my elbow's going to point behind me. My front arm's still pointing in front of me. My front leg goes up. As I land, I'm swinging, I'm twisting my shoulders, bringing that arm through. All right. So on your own, 10 seconds at your own pace. Ready? Set, and go for it. Good. Five seconds left. Keep going. You got this. Three, two, one, and time. So sides, other side. Ready? And go. Good. Keep up. Right there. Big set. Good. Five seconds left. Almost done. Three, two, one, and time. All right. So sides. Going challenge level now. All right. Last time I'm going to hand over to Mr. Adams. He's going to do some fun stuff with the eyes and more chair work and all that. But, level, last level, we're about 30 seconds each side. All right. You can do palm strike, hammer fist, elbow strike, a combination of all three if you want, or mix it up as you go. But, we're gonna go 30 seconds, and I want you to focus on that big step with that palm strike, hammer fist strike, or elbow strike. If you can, I recommend starting with one, and getting really good at that, ready? So 30 seconds, get set, and go for it. So I, I'm gonna start with my elbow strike. Good. If you can do any of those three moves we just did, really just focusing on getting good at that one move. Uh, and I'm gonna switch up. I'm gonna work on my palm strike now. My palm strike now would be better. Push. Good, 10 seconds left. Remember, I'll set up that hammer fist strike too. All uh, right, so you can do either one. Palm, hammer, elbow smash. Two. One and time switch. Other side, same thing. Elbow strike, palm strike, or hammer fist strike. If you want to switch it up as we go, you can. If you want to stay with one, you can also do that as well. Okay, I'm just going to focus on my palm strike on my left arm this time. Ready? Set and 30 seconds. Go for it. There we go. All right. Good. So yeah. Keep it up. You guys got this. One key ish seconds left. Good, almost there. We're halfway there. Almost on. Last 10 seconds, guys. Keep it up, keep going, keep pushing through. Keep on up. Ready, you got five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and time. Austria, guys, so real quick, if you want, you grab a quick drink of water and head, come on back here. Mr. Adams has some fun stuff he's going to do with you now. All you, Mr. Adams. Thank you, sir. Hey, guys, grab that chair again or bring it back out or something like that fun. Yes. Um, Skull, can I be nearby for the timer, please? Yes, sir. All right, hey, guys, so what we're going to be doing. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I don't want to do a timer. I don't want time. Oh, I want to do. No, it's fine. I changed my mind. Hey, so we're going to practice some kicks real quick. Um, now, the kick I want to do first with you guys is going to be a hook kick. I want to talk about the difference between hook and heel, all right? Um, to do this one properly, you need to do a side kick first, and then you're going to be dragging that leg through. I'm talking about a heel kick, actually. I don't know why I would lie like that. All right, so I'm going to be doing this kind of side kick off the side, and I'm going to drag my foot. Let me get a better view of pointing at you guys, okay? Any comment? Heel kick, legs stay straight the whole time. That's what I said. I said, I said heel on 
<laughs> hey guys, this is where the class. I said hooking and I said it's going. So, so I'm kicking like this and I'm dragging it through, okay? Bring that back behind. So I'm going to hook it. Um, what am I saying? Am I saying it right? <laughs> I said like I'm, three different things. Do the hook? H kick. Are you trying to hook it or the yoke? So, you're kicking, pulling, and then bring that knee back. If you don't keep it straight for a little bit, that's just going to be, I don't even know what that is. It's not kick though, okay? Um, you're kicking, pulling, and then letting it back. You still want to pull your knee a little bit at the end, okay? Ready? We're using this for balance. Yes, I'm sure everyone can do a hook kick without the chair. What I want us to do is just focus on the kick looking good, though. If you're using this balance, we're eventually going to level this up and not use the chair. Right now, let's go ahead and get three hook kicks. Go for it. You can set your leg down. I just feel the need to be special. All right. When you know with those three kicks, you're going to switch sides. All right, ready? Oh, that one got it. There we go. When you do a three on each side, return to the original one. And we're going to work on using it. So I, I was holding on to that shit the entire time. Now we're trying to use it less and less, okay? So I have my hands up. I'm ready to lean back. And I'm going to tap every once in a while. I'm going to get used to using it. But I don't want to depend on it, all right? Like a phone a friend right now. I'm just going every once in a while. All right, let's get three more. Three total, then switch sides. All right, sweet. I'm switching sides. You're, you might be ahead of me, but behind. That's okay. Okay, that was my three, I think it three, yeah. All right, I'll give you guys like three seconds to catch up, or you're waiting on me and it's embarrassing right now. That's okay. Okay, well now, no chair at all. Take a chair and put it away. My chair is away from me. We're gonna get three more, no chair. Will your kick be a little bit lower? Maybe, and that's okay. But I wanna make sure that we start it off strong so we can challenge ourselves in a different area, which is the balance. All right, three more on each side, go for it. Arms with the sides. All right. Excellent job. Okay. Next thing, guys, is uh, self defense. Okay. I want to do a little bit of self defense, you guys. Um, let's go ahead and hop into it. Guys, let's have a hook punch each time. Let me make sure I have it pulled up properly. Okay, hook punchy time. This first one is going to be off of the shield block, okay? Um, this is if you have, you're, you're too close, okay? So you're gonna actually go in towards the person. They're throwing a hook punch, you're, you're coming close to them. Um, as you do that, this hand's gonna touch your back, shield block, other hand's ready for an uppercut. Aiming right here, all right? So you're imagining this enemy sort of in front of you, they're throwing a hook punch at you, but as it's coming around, you're getting closer to them Shield block, uppercut. Let's get three on your side again. Block, cut. That. About three, it's more than three on that side. Block, cut. And every once in a while, move forward. Because if we're just practicing, it's not the same. Okay, that was three. Three on each side, three on each side. Okay, next one. This one is you're trying to catch their arm. So that hook punch is coming in, you're gonna stop it here, and here. These two spots, okay? You're hitting those two spots with both arms. What's better than one arm? Two, two arms, all right? So, two arms, right? Okay, it's coming in, so we're gonna use both of our arms to parallel block it, back fist strike. Here we go. Parallel block, back fist. Parallel back fist. Now, at this point, you guys have probably seen the self defense. You're probably getting a little tired of it, and I'm sorry about that. The re the reason we do self defense so often is to create this thing called muscle memory, so that if somebody would just go woo right really quick at you, 
you would have some sort of instinctual reaction, not just, ah, all right, or e, where you could possibly, whoa, all right, your, your oh, it could be something a little more protective than just, ah, don't touch me, all right, um, so let's go ahead and get three on each side again, go for it, walk, back fist, walk, back fist, Realize that these arms are going to be hitting on some sort of pressure points. You're fighting an arm and swinging to hurt you. So don't just, all right, force them forward. Block. Back fist. Block. Back fist. Block. Back fist. All right. Last one I want to do with you guys is a pass block. Okay, so this one is going to be a hook watch coming at you again. But this time you had some room. All right. We've done this one a few times. Pass. Grab their wrist. I had a partner. I would be grabbing onto their arm. And as I do that, I'm going to throw a hook punch right towards their face. If you want to disguise in like a punch or a back fist or any other fun move, feel free. Or test throwing in a hook punch. Okay. That's coming in. So we're going to, whoa, pass, grab, hook punch. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Pass, grab, hook punch. All right. Other side. Pass, grab, hook punch. Last one. Pass, grab, hook punch. And lastly, before I let you guys go, make sure that, or before this part, um, make sure that you guys are working on keeping those strong moves. Again, just pass them. Yeah, it's it's smooth, it's nice, it's not really working anything, okay? We wouldn't have hit a partner anyway, we can still have strong moves right now. All right, before I let you guys go, I want to talk to you guys about goals, all right? It's so important to me, that guys, that we're, we're, we're not only working on these goals, but we're achieving them. All right, if you work on a goal for 10 years, was it that good of a goal? Now, obviously, there's big ones like getting a college education, something like that, um, or, or earning a certain thing in your work. That's obviously worth a 10-year wait time, possibly. However, if you've been trying to get to a certain smaller victory and it's taking a long time than it should, here are some things that can help you, okay? Um, make sure you have someone that's holding you accountable, all right? Who knows about your goals, and are they holding you accountable to them? I've had many goals before that I haven't told anybody about. And I've, like, like if there's, like, five of those goals I haven't told anybody about, one of them probably came to fruition. That's a one out of five success rate. Not too good, all right? Now, the goals that I have told somebody about, I said, hey, can you hold me accountable to this? That's probably the exact opposite. I'm not saying it works every single time, but I would say it's closer to four out of five times. And that's a lot better. That looks good on a paper, <laughs> all right? Um, so make sure you have somebody that's helping with that, holding you accountable, like a check up on you. It could be, so, it, hopefully, I would say, because the easiest option is somebody in your own home. Um, if you are a child, you can ask your parents. Um, if you're a parent, believe it or not, you could ask your child. Guess what um, kids are really good at? Reminding you things, all right, when you forget them. Um, so just keep that in mind um, that we should have somebody accountable for them. Now let's talk about if you're achieving goals. You are working towards a goal, and you are just killing it. You are on fire. You're doing great. I said it in the last class I taught. I'm going to say it again because it's just that important to me. Make sure that you're bragging about yourself. Did you lose 10 pounds? Tell people. Are you getting double the amount of push-ups you did before your start time? Tell somebody. Show it off a little bit. There's nothing wrong with being positive about yourself. Facebook's not about just complaining about everything, or as, even though I know a lot of people treat it that way. Make sure that you are taking time out of your day to celebrate these small victories for yourself because you deserve it. Great job, guys. Oh, we're not done with class, so I'm going to let Mr. Cole come back in here and have some fun with you guys. I am out, however. You say you're out, but I s you keep saying that you have this really fun video you want to do with everyone. So don't worry, if, if you like Mr. Abs, he'll be back with a really fun video. So yeah. All right, so from here, working on some sparring, all right? So as we do this, uh, today's main focus I want you to do is we practice either your sparring com, or as we practice your sparring combos, or as we practice your sparring skills, all right? Is that you focus on where your targets are, all right? Most kicks are gonna go to here towards the body with the uh, exception of a couple such as like wrecking kick can go up towards the head, hook kick, crescent kick, whatever, or those kicks can come up towards the head, all right? You know, hand techniques can go to the head or the body, right? but as, as I said, I really want you to focus on making sure your kicks, your hand techniques, your moves are going to a target and you're just not uh, doing it, all right? So we're gonna start off here kind of reverse order, orange shots above, 
you're working your five move combinations. So for the next 30 seconds, which I'll throw the or I guess I'll have Mr. Adams throw the timer up, because I'll use the timer. For the next 30 seconds, you're gonna work on your five move combination. All right, not yet though. White and yellow, so the next 30 seconds, you're working on sparring skill number three. So you're gonna pick, not pick up, right? You're gonna use your front arm, you're gonna go outside block with your front arm. Front leg's gonna pick up front kick, side kick, and then you can either go spin crescent kick or just back leg crescent kick. All right, so you have those two options that you can choose. All right? But again, be uh, really focused on that target area uh, for your kicks. All right. Here we go, Mr. Adams, 30 seconds on the clock. So again, orange with a five move combination. Widen the elbows. You're going to do what I do, which is our sparring skill number three. Ready, set, and go for it. So, oh, I forgot the block. So, block, front kick, side kick, mm -hmm. spin, crescent kick for those white belts. All right. And you're going to keep on going. Boom. Boom. You can also just do a back leg crescent two. Keep it up. 15 seconds left. You got this. Good, keep going. Five or five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and time. All right. From here, switching it up now. So uh, orange, green, and uh, orange butts up. Go into your four move combo. All right. So thirty seconds. Four move combo. All right. As many times as you can. White and yellow belts. Working on strong skill number two, which is low block, chop, chop, psychic. All right. And again, really focus on making sure your moves are going to the right targets, all right? Here we go, ready, set, 30 seconds, and go for it. Good, keep it up. Boom, boom. Foot lock, chop, chop. Sighting for the one yellow. So again, check your targets. Make sure your moves are going to those right targets, so to the target you're wanting them to. All right, like for this, I like my uh, hand going up high towards my head, and my kick going right here at my belt level, all right? So again, focus those targets. Two seconds, one, and time, all right? Last one, 30 seconds, I'm gonna be back on the clock. Orange shots above, three move combo. White and yellow belts, side, side, spin, side. All right, so again, white and yellow belts, front legs gonna pick up, double side kick, land, spin side kick, all right? So again, that's uh, white, white and yellow belts are gonna be, all right? White and yellow belts, and you're gonna go with me. Orange foot's above, your th own three move combo. Again, really focus on those targets. Ready? And go for it. Uh, I, I don't know why I like making noises like in my moves. But hey, if you're making noises too, welcome to the club. You guys got this. Keep going. Less or over halfway there. Boom. Good. Keep it up. Last in, less than 10 seconds. Well, Five seconds left. Good, and time. All right, awesome job. So again, as you focus, or as you guys practice your moves at home, uh, if you have to have like a full body mirror, uh, uh, I highly recommend use that. All right, sit there and practice, or practice your combos, practice your moves. Uh, you know, it's not the most ideal sparring partner, but it's a sparring partner that you can use, all right? From here, I have one more challenge with you, then I'm gonna hand it over to Mr. Adams, who has a fun video for you. Uh, and we are gonna do, this time instead of a level five pyramid, we're gonna do a level six pyramid. Don't worry, I'm done killing your arms, I'm gonna kill your abs now. All right, so this is a core level six pyramid. All right, we're gonna be doing full sit-ups, side crunches, and something called around the world, which I'll show you guys here. Here, uh, the whole thing here. All right. So again, we have another full setup. So you're going to start laying down, go all the way up, all the way down. If you can't get all the way up, that's okay. Just get as high as you can. All right. We have side crunches. So side crunch. You put your knees off to the side here. And you'll come up, and every time I do one, I'll switch my knees. So my knees will go to the other side. All right. So when, I, when we hit two, one side of the other side counts. All right. Then around the world. All right, around the world, I'm gonna lean back, arms, or lean back, legs up, and my legs are gonna draw a big circle all the way around. That's one, all right? Every time I put back to center, I go the other way, all right? So it'll be one, two, three, and every time I come back around, I just do that. Uh, I just switch directions, all right? Any questions on any of those? I'll give you guys a few seconds to ask. 
Do you have questions? Do. No? Okay. All right. So from here, again, when I say go, so I got level one, we're going to do one full sit up, one side crunch, and then uh, one around the world, and then two, 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 three, two, three, all the way up to six. All right. When you get to six, or if you need to, in between, do a roll over cobra stretch, all right, and then you're right back into it. And once you get to six, work your way back down. All right. Here we go, guys. Get ready. Get set, and go for it. Here's one. Side crunch. There's around the world. All right, now we're on two. Two sit ups. One. Two. Two side crunches. One. Two. Two around the world. One. Two. Now three. One. Two. Three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good, all right, four side crunches. One, two, three, four, four around the world. One, two, three, four. Again, if you need to take a break, cover stretch, you can do that. Good, all right. No five. to six and I'm going to pass it off to Mr. Adams for that video because we're running low on time and then you can go down after class. So yeah, well, you, you can give your ass a little bit of a break. All right. So here goes. Five. five side crunches. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Five. Five around the world. One. Two. Three. Five, the last level, and then you guys hit Mr. Adams again. Here we go. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six side crunches. Six around the world. And then you guys get me straps. Ready? Go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. We're going to go ahead and roll over cobra stretch for a little bit. And now you guys get Mr. Adams to finish up with this really fun video. I got once you're done and your abs have stopped hurting as much, start five, work your way back down. All yours, Mr. Adams. All right, guys, we're going to be doing a, a duck jump and avoid challenge. Now, this is going to seem easy at first, and uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> duck! Challenge yourself by being quick. Okay, not too bad so far, but. Uh, You've already done this, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, power up, running, please. Run, 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 run.
Great job, Fusion Impact. Um, I know that got a little crazy at the end, but uh, seriously, great job, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. Remember that you need to finish the last half of your level six pyramid. Yes, yeah, so starting at level five, work your way down, sit-ups, side crunches, around the world. You got this. See ya.